The Osteofix VRP2 Plus is designed to assist with fracture reductions in the radius. The VRP2 Plus is supported by new and innovative instruments for safe surgical implementation. Key features are the universal plate design, vast locking technology, 30 degree variable angle screw angle and easy grip system. The distal radial fracture is approached through a standard FCR approach. Once the fracture has been demonstrated and a provisional reduction achieved, a trial plate is used to determine whether a standard, wide or narrow plate is optimal for fixation. Although the standard length plate is suitable for most distal radial fractures, certain fracture types require a longer plate and these are available in two additional length sizes. The appropriate smart guide for either left or right wrist is chosen and moved into position on the plate. The smart guide tool is then used to lock the guide into position. The smart guide tool is then screwed into the hole in the guide with a circular laser marking and this allows the guide tool to help guide the plate into position on the radius. The plate can then be provisionally secured to the distal radius by K wires through the appropriate distal holes. The drill guide is placed into the smart guide so that the laser marking is level with the surface of the smart guide. With the drill guide accurately placed, the markings on the drill shaft give an accurate representation of the drill depth. Alternatively, the depth gauge can be used, again ensuring that the laser marked line of the depth gauge is level with the surface of the smart guide. An appropriate length of screw is then inserted and the correct seating is ensured when the laser marking on the driver tip is flush with the smart guide. Correct shaft alignment is then ensured both visually and radiologically. A non-locking screw is then inserted in the central portion of the gliding hole by lining the drill guide perpendicular to the plate. Partial screw insertion allows the manipulation forceps to be used for achieving either compression or distraction at the fracture site allowing for correction of radial shift. Once this maneuver is complete, the screw is seated home. The K wires and smart guide are then removed and the remaining screw positions are subsequently drilled and filled. Although screw alignment through the standard guide is appropriate for most fractures, the variable angle screw technology allows for adjustment of screw alignment. The VAST technology allows for a 30 degree variable angle screw placement. The cone end of the drill guide fits securely in the plate screw holes, allowing for accurate drilling within the 30 degree cone. Elevating depressed intraarticular fractures is aided by using the articulating probe. An empty screw hole in the plate proximal to the depressed articular fragment is selected and a drill hole made through this hole in the anterior cortex of the radius. The hook of the probe is then fed through the hole. This will help to elevate and stabilize the depressed articular fragment. A K wire is then passed through an adjacent hole parallel to any one of the radial lines on the guided articular probe. 
aiding in stabilizing the pressed fragment while further screws are placed to maintain stability. Radial styloid fractures can be fixed with the radial styloid plate. The plate is anatomically contoured and after provisional stabilization with a K wire, the plate is fixed with a series of zebra wires and proximal supporting screw. The zebra pattern on the wire is used to mark a reference point where the plate and K-wire intersect. The K-wire is withdrawn by at least one light and dark pattern to determine the desired working distance. The wire is cut to the appropriate length and bent into a hook shape. Then the slotted impactor is used to position the pin firmly against the plate. A second or third pin are then inserted and the plate finally secured with one or two locking proximal screws. Dorsal plates are angled right and left and can be used on either the right or the left radius depending on the position and alignment required. Contouring as needed is facilitated by the bending pliers that maintain the vast alignment of the screw holes. Further screw insertion uses a standard technique and the two distal K-wire holes may be suitable for complex fixation but can also be used to suture the plate to the dorsal capsule. The addition of a radial styloid pin plate can aid stability.